Hey, here's a nice looking drop top. 1968 Ford Mustang Convertible. This particular car, powered by a 289 underneath the hood. That's the way it would have came from Ford back in 68. It is a C code that is paired up with an automatic transmission. Also, some nice equipment under the hood power steering, power brakes. 289 does have a dual Edelbrock carb set up on it also. We're going to check out the still pictures and start it up seeing here it run. Now, speaking of still pictures, if you want to see the still pictures, you can see the underside of this car. Take a look at that. A lot of new front end components in this. You'll be able to see in the bushings and the pictures what I'm talking about. Um, you check out that engine bay. You'll be able to see that dual carb set up. Interior trunk picks. UniqueClassicCars.com is where you can see those. Click on the link down below this video in the description. That's going to take you right there. Of course, you can call us too, 507-386-1726. This car has had a repaint. Uh, paint on it, I would say it's a little older paint job, and it does show its age a little bit. Um, some different areas, that's also nice because if this paint's been on there for quite a while, you're going to see that it doesn't look like there's a lot of bad body work or anything like that coming back through it. So let me get up close. I'll show you a few things. First of all, take a look at the front bumper. Chrome and the bright work on the grill. Very presentable. I'm guessing that front bumper has been re-chromed, if not new. But you will you'll notice a little spot like this where they've touched up the paint. A uh, little area like this right here. But as we go around this, you can see it has a nice reflection coming off. You can see the ceiling easily enough. Take a look. You're going to be able to see the reflection of the showroom behind me. Like I said, you know, if it had bad body work and that paint had been on there for quite a while, it start to get, it's going to start to come through. But take a look at this around the wheel wells. Now, these are also rims with the beauty rings. It's not a wheel cover or anything like that. Once again, it is power brakes. And then you can look up and down the side of this car. You know what black looks like if it's got poor body work to it. It shows up in an instant. car appears to be pretty darn straight. And let's take a look around this rear wheel well. Give you an idea. Now as far as interior, black vinyl buckets, center console. Wipers worked, blower fan worked, switches for heat and to the defrost area up underneath the windshield. That's all working. Now this particular car, white vinyl top, power top. Power top does work. Kind of a cool look with the luggage rack added back here. Now remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with the transportation and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. FYI, spare tire in the trunk. You'll be able to check out in the still pictures. And again, take your time looking through those. You'll be able to see pictures of the top with it up, with it down. Uh, I'm going to pause this video later. We're going to put that top up so you can see it too at the end of the video. No still pictures, uniqueclassiccars.com. Down below the um, video in the description, there's a link. Click on it. It's going to take you right there. All right, let's take a look over this rear wheel well. And again, you can see... Nice reflection coming off that black paint, considering it is a little older. This car looked good in your local shows, local cruise-ins. How about just a fun Sunday out with the top done driving around? And you can see the seats have also been redone. Seem to be free of any sort of rips, tears much for holes, anything like that. Don't really show a whole lot of wear. Carpeting, door panels, also in very presentable shape. All right, let's go ahead and start this up. Thought this was interesting. Even the seat belt warning light works. Very responsive, 289, nice setup with that dual carb on it. The radio, I did get to power up, got static, I did get a, a station uh, reception or anything like that. Maybe the fact I'm in the building here, but I just want to give you a heads up on that. Here's that the gauges were good, 
and like I said, the wipers did work. Definitely, definitely have the oil pressure gauge over here. I wanted to show you. Fuel gauge did go up from start. Alternator, all that seems fine. Assuming the temp gauge will come up with the temperature of the coolant. Power top control right down here. There is a manual choke on it too. I have not had to use that starting this car or moving it around our showroom. Door closes nicely. Slip around to the back. Good sounding car. Nice little rumble coming out of that V8. All right, I'm gonna slip up to the front here. I'm gonna pause this a second. Let's pop this hood. Check out the engine bay. Here we go. Get a look at the engine bay. Check this out first of all. Actual trouble light, I guess if you want to call it that. Under hood light. Hey, it's working. Get your dual Edelbrock set up. See how smooth that engine runs. Put some strut power bracing. Nice dress up with the valve covers, air cleaner cover, got some chrome, some braided hose coverings. Once again, as you can see, power brakes back there, power steering here. Smooth runner. All right, uh, let me pause this one more time and I'm going to get that top up so you guys can take a look at that too. Hey! Did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. First of all, power top works great. And this top fits nice. It went up well, went right down to where it should have been placed. When it got all the way there, latched nicely. As you can see, white vinyl. And maybe just a slight on the cream side. It's not, it doesn't just pop like a crazy bright white. So it actually contrasts with the black very nicely. As you can see, it's not full of rips, tears, holes. I mean, yeah, you're gonna have a few of the crinkles from where it's been folded up. How many times will this top be up? Got a nice convertible like this. Rear window, also nice and clear. Not yellowed or stained. But it's gonna do its job. It's gonna keep you dry, or if it gets too hot out and you wanna shade yourself, gonna be good for any of that. And it looks good. All right, so that gives you an idea of the top. Something else I remembered when I closed the hood and was putting the top up, I wanted to show you this. I mentioned the underhood trouble lighter would have you worked. I don't know if you can see this or not, but hey, take a look at that. Even the blinkers, blinker indicator in the hood, both of them work. How cool is that? 1968 Ford Mustang, 289 do Edelbrock, dual Edelbrock setup, automatic. Power top, power steering, power brakes. Give us a call, 507-386-1726, uniqueclassiccars.com. Down below this video in the description, there's a link. Click on it. It's going to take you right there. And remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with the transportation. And this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email.